coming up next on the Jay Rowe Show. Barack Obama is projected to be the next president of the United States of America. It's been four days and I'm not dreaming. He will be the next president of the United States. A century ago, President Theodore Roosevelt's invitation of Booker T. Washington to, dis- to dine at the White House was taken as an outrage in many quarters. America today is a world away from the cruel and prideful bigotry of that time. There is no better evidence of this than the election of an Amer- African American to the presidency of the United States. One of the best concession speeches of all time. Well done, sir. Last night, I had a warm conversation with President-elect Barack Obama. I congratulated him and Senator Biden on their impressive victory. Oh, you still here? Reminds me of this moment. Oh, Johnny, I apologize. I forgot you were there. You may go now. And uh, I just want to close on a personal note. As an African-American, I'm especially proud uh, because... This is a country that's been through a long journey uh, in terms of overcoming wounds and uh, making race uh, not the factor in our lives. Um, That work is not done, but uh, yesterday was obviously an extraordinary step forward. Look at the Secretary of State, all giddy. She can't control herself. Look at my son and say, no limitations. On you. It's extraordinary. It, it is an extraordinary Today day. is victory. I haven't felt this good throughout this entire election process. So and it is a that day I was of right all along. Yeah, it was a very emotional moment for a lot of people. Plus, Elizabeth Hasselbeck, happy? Oh my goodness. Plus, your emails in the JOD. T.O. Get your popcorn ready. The J. Rouse Show starts now. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. That's the point. One out of twelve. One out of twelve. Dispatched all available officers to the homes of Sean Hannity and Rush Limbaugh. Instruct officers to remove all sharp objects and prescription medicines. Also instruct units to check local bridges in the area. Over. <laughs> one out of twelve. One out of twelve. It's over. Finito. Finish. Hey, 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 what's up? Welcome into the J. Ross Show. And of course, you can reach the show at the J. Ross Show at Live.com, the J. Ross Show at Live.com. Well, it's been four days, and Barack Obama is and will be our 44th president of the United States. And I wonder how Sean Hannity and Rush Limbaugh feel right about now. Because they spent the past 18 months trying to rally the base going after their supporters because they felt they had a voice in American politics telling people not to vote for Barack Obama. Hell, Sean Punk Hannity not only used Hannity and Combs to spew his hate, he also used his own radio show, right? And Hannity's America, that, you know, which I'm glad I'm not a part of. So after all this, these guys thought they had the influence of the American people and those two clowns had as much influence on the American people as I do. And I'm some cat on YouTube. Oh my goodness. Dummies, dummies, dummies. Well, of course, Tuesday night was a very emotional night for a lot of people, especially for me. The big guy got a little misty out, I'm not going to lie. On two occasions, believe it or not. The first occasion is when John McCain gave his concession speech. Let's take a look at that real quick. This is an historic election. And I recognize the special significance it has for African Americans and for the special pride that must be theirs tonight. I've always believed that America offers opportunities to all who have the industry and will to seize it. Senator Obama believes that too. But we both recognize that though we have come a long way from the old injustices that once stained our nation's reputation, and denied some Americans the full blessings of American citizenship, the memory of them still had the power to wound. 
one of the best concession speeches I have ever heard. Well done, Senator McCain. Well done. Now, that's the Senator McCain we should have saw out there on the campaign trail. His campaign didn't do him any justice by allowing him to, you know, represent what he did. I mean, he should have came out like this honorable American, which I know he is. And, of course, the second time I got emotional was when they called the race for Barack. And, you know, you saw the reaction uh, of the crowds. You saw people crying. It was a very special moment in American history. But just like that, I was able to get back on point and put my happy face back on because I realized one other thing. Sarah Palin was going back to Alaska. Oh, happy day. Hip, hip, hooray. Good riddance. Get out of here. Because, you know, what this process has done, it's validated everything I thought about it. She's a dummy. I'm sorry, folks. Don't get upset. She's dumb. And what about all the information that's now being leaked to the press? from the campaign aides oh my goodness once again confirmation as far as I'm concerned things like she didn't understand the basic fundamentals of governing now, how can you be a governor of a state and don't understand the functions or the fundamentals of that job she could name any major political events or political achievements that has happened in American in the in American politics uh, in the past ten years. She couldn't name anything. She uh, didn't know Africa. She thought Africa was a country. She didn't know it was a continent. Oh my goodness! She could have been on that Fox show. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? She didn't know the countries who were a part of NAFTA. You know NAFTA. The North American Free Trade, the, the North America Free Trade Agreement. Look, I'm messing. I'm talking about her, and I'm screwing it up. But you know, North America should have gave it away for you. Oh my goodness! And what we're hearing now is that the hundred fifty thousand dollars that was reported to the press that she spent, no, 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 that bill is more. Okay. And according to reports, Nicole Wallace, if you've been watching this, everyone knows who Nicole Wallace is. Okay, Nicole Wallace uh, was one of uh, Senator McCain's senior aides. And so she told Sarah Palin, listen, you need to pick up three suits for the RNC, okay, and probably pick up another three suits for the remainder of the campaign season. They didn't expect the bill to be more than $20,000. Now, I don't know where they shop, but hell. $20,000 would last me for two years, but I've digressed. So anyway, when the bill started coming in, when the expense reports started coming in, they hit the roof. And we all know that Sarah Pillen knows how to manipulate expense reports. She's been doing it in Alaska for the past 24 months. They hit the roof. And not only did she spend money on her, but according to reports, she spent almost $40,000 on the first due. And that the RNC is thinking about sending lawyers to Alaska to do an inventory of her clothes and bring the clothes back. And Sarah Palin, she's singing like a canary. She's fighting back. And listen, I don't blame Sarah Palin. I blame the McCain campaign for picking her. They didn't, you know, reports were uh, uh, Senator McCain barely spoke to her. Matter of fact, on election night, when he was about to give his concession speech, she showed up with a speech of her own. Are you kidding me? She showed up with her own speech. And they told her, girl, sit your ass down. We've had about enough to you, enough of you. Oh my goodness. You can't make this stuff up. Hollywood can't make this stuff up. Sarah Palin. Oh my goodness. Wow. And she almost became the vice president of the United States of America. <laughs> Coming up in the second set, we'll hear from my music director, Tyreek Styles. New segment, weekly segment, which is called Four Minutes with Tyreek. Keep it right here. The J. Rouse Show rolls on. Three, three, three.